Welcome to John's Guitar Lab. Bar chords. All right, we're gonna jump right in. Remember on one of the previous videos, we already learned the D chord. Remember that from Twist and Shout. Okay, and how we did, you know, pretty much two beats. We're gonna do here, we're gonna learn an A minor chord as a bar chord. And I'll tell you the song as soon as I'm through here. Okay. Fifth fret. <clears throat> Let's put the bar across. All right. Fifth fret. And you see here on the fifth string, you have on the seventh fret on the fifth string, you have your third finger and the pinky here. Now, just a quick overview. With the major bar chord, this position, remember this, okay, with the G that we did on Twist and Shout. Well, to make the major a minor, we just lift the second finger. Hear the sound? Okay, so here, if we had an A chord, we'd lift the finger. The D chord, remember this one? All right, we're gonna do evil ways. No, we did evil ways. Let's kick the metronome in here a minute. <clears throat> I have it. We're going to be doing this count in quarters. Okay? One, two, but I have the metronome going in eighths. One, two, Stop it right there a second. All right. There's another chord that those that know the song and you know pull it up by Santana. You listen to it and they'll, you don't change your evil way, baby. And then there's a part where you can't go on. And we take the D, move it up two frets. On you can't go on and. What chord is that? This is your root. It's on the seventh fret, fifth string. What chord is it? It's an E chord, okay? Remember, that root will let you know. So the three chords for this piece is A minor, D, E. As always, there's a link below for the, uh, you know, if you need to see the chords where they you know, a lot, of, a lot of these sites, let me just back up here. A lot of these sites, they have the chord over the, um, the lyric, all right? So if you listen to it, you know, you pull up Evil Ways on YouTube, and then you'll hear that there's basically three chords going on, and you'll see where the chord changes up to here. Now, naturally, is anything, you know, when you're listening to arrangements, you know, particularly by an artist, you might hear like, uh, it's still, they're just using what we call syncopation. Anyway, that's gonna be down the road, and yes, we will be doing that too. If you like what you hear, give me that thumbs up, okay? Please subscribe, and please, if there's something here we're not sure of, comments below. Write me, let me know. I'll be more than happy to get back to you on it. Enjoy your day.